Hey, happy Cinco de Mayo. It's the 5th of May. Whether you celebrate it or not, it's still the 5th of May. Today's subject I'm talking to you about is peppers. You have the regular kind of pepper you use at the dinner table to salt or salt and pepper your food. And then there's uh, allspice and pimento. That's on the other scale. And then somewhere in between are the peppers that most people think of when you think of peppers. Chili peppers, bell pepper, in Italy they call them pepperoni, uh, banana pepper, cayenne pepper, jalapeno, habanero, all have a different amount of heat to them, spiciness, heat that burns your tongue. The spiciness is depends upon how much capsaicin is in the uh, in the pepper. This is a sweet pepper. It's a long red sweet pepper. And capsaicin is uh, an alkali compound that forms in the in the ribs. These lo this uh, the rib here. I'll, uh, over here too, and the seeds. It's the, uh, it goes by a Scoville, S-C-O-V-I-L-L-E, uh, Scoville heat scale. It's the, uh, the amount of the capsaicin that it has in the pepper itself. It form formulates in the pepper, it grows in there, and it stimulates pain receptors instead of the taste buds. And the multicultural uh, use of peppers. There are many pepper dishes in Eastern Europe. There are pepper dishes in... Uh, in India, in Mexico, it depends on the kind of peppers and how you use them and everything. But if you're intending to go out or prepare pepper type things for Cinco de Mayo, here's something you should know about hot peppers. Now, <clears throat> if you get peppers, the hot pepper on your skin, if you're preparing anything with jalapenos, wear little plastic gloves or uh, you're gonna don't touch your face or your eyes or any any sores on your hand any little cuts or scrapes mm -mm. If you get it on if you get it on your skin quickly dip your hands into a little bowl with one part bleach and five parts water it will dissipate the uh, the heat the, the, it'll dissipate the chemicals on your hand water doesn't do it water and soap helps but a little dip into the one part bleach and five parts water, that will help a lot. Don't leave your hand in there because then it will really burn. And if you eat something spicy with peppers, whether it's Mexican food or Indian food or whatever, the fat that's within dairy products will help dissipate the pain. <laughs> it will take the pain away. Dairy products like milk, yogurt, sour cream, they all dissipate the alkaloids in the capsa capsaicin. Mm. So, that's my little thing today. Uh, still not feeling the best, and I, I don't know why. But here we've got the cat. He's down here. Oh, wait a minute. Hello. He was uh, smelling at the pepper that I laid down here, but I guess he's not into it. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. What do you say? Celebrate. Happy Pepper Day.